Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into a task management AI application. Uh, I'm actually not sure what it is yet, but this is uh, one of these first impressions videos where I've looked at the application, but I haven't actually tested anything out. So that's what we are going to do together in this video. We are going to test out the application uh, and the name of the application is HyperAid. I think that's how you pronounce it, but let's just dive into it. And uh, this is how it looks. So my guess is that there is a lot of AI stuff in here with the chat with the speak but let's actually just start at the left here because this is what makes sense right now so i have an inbox i have a today i have a planned a snoozed my guess is that i can snooze items i have a completed but i also have a project let's go ahead and make one project so let's do a test project and i can add a description to that test project. Currently Hyperade won't add tasks automatically to projects. You can drag a task to the project in the sidebar to add uh, to it. So that is something I would expect for the price of this application. Let's actually just quickly go over the pricing because that sort of sets like expectations. Uh, so here I have the pricing of this uh, application. It is $20 uh, per month or 200 per year so it is expensive the application is also quite new so you have like uh, personal productivity assistant unlimited task unlimited reminders integration slack community you have a 14 day free trial um with the gary the plan you get early access to new features as well um so this quickly like shows you the pricing and I think that is important because for 20 USD each month or 200 a year I am expecting uh, I have some uh, expectations it would be different if it was like three uh, four uh, dollars each month so my expectations often depends on how much the application costs but uh, so that is something I would really like inside of uh inside of this uh, application right here. Uh, I can also color code it, so let's just give it green. Let's go ahead and save it. I have to add a description, so let's just do test and then save it. So I have my test project. I can also add tags. So let's do test tag as well. I've never understood why you want uh, tags and uh, projects, but uh, that might just be me personally. At least you have ways of uh, ways of organizing. So here it seems like I can uh, add things directly underneath a tag because it doesn't have the same like uh, announcement that it has on projects. Uh, I can add a habit. So let's just do go for a walk. Go for for a walk and here I can choose how often it should repeat and I can use a uh, natural language that is great so let's do daily at 9 p.m daily 9 p.m so daily at 9 p.m so I can do natural language processing that is great that is actually something I enjoy in every application um I prefer having uh, natural language processing. Uh, I can color code this as well. So here I have go for a walk. Uh, it doesn't appear on today. Can I click on it? I can't. Can I click on the tag? Can I, I can click on it, but it only opens a nice empty list. Uh, does it appear in planned? It does not. Have I done something wrong? How do I edit this? So I press here to edit daily at 9 p.m. So it should it should actually uh it should actually appear. Um let's just do Monday save. So now it appears in today, but it isn't Monday today, it is actually Saturday. Does it appear in plan? It does not, but it appears in today, even though today isn't Monday. Uh, let's change this to every Monday. So if I write Monday, it appears in today. If I uh, write every Monday, it actually appears in Mondays. 
so now this is done but whenever I do something it is still in here it isn't removed it isn't archived it is still in here uh, I would like I would love it especially in the today view if whenever I press this button that it uh, it wouldn't sh or whenever I press the checkbox that it would stop showing me uh, the thing again some of these things are highly personal like you might not have an issue with seeing the task you've done you might even like it uh, can I add the date I can't change the date from here um so I can't but how do I postpone something uh, it doesn't seem too uh, easy to find it but at least I can add notes but let's just try to add a task into the inbox so uh, go for a run I was about to say take out trash but I think I've used that one uh, up uh, so I have go for a run I can drag this into a project or a test task uh, if I click it I can uh, write notes but how, how do I change the due date of this like, how can I go in and I can change the due date uh, tomorrow at 9 p.m.? Does this work? Like, not having an easy way. Can I drag it into today? I can't. I can only drag it into the project, for example. But I, it doesn't seem like... It isn't in the project. Let's try to drag it one more time. So now it should be in the project. So it is in the project and in the inbox at the same time. That is how. That is not how I expect my inbox to be. Um, I would like my inbox to be a place where I have tasks and when I move them they aren't in my inbox anymore. Again, that might also be a highly personal thing. Uh, but I have a chat here and I have like a microphone so let's try out the microphone thing uh, because I should be able to speak out my tasks so let's allow it tomorrow at 9 p.m. I want to go for a run let's press done and it will transcribe it so it appears in chat but do I get an answer Either I am not getting an answer or this is extremely slow. And it also didn't transcribe it totally uh, correct, but that might just be me, my terrible English. Let's try to send it a message as well. Uh, go for a run tomorrow, 9 a.m. Let's try that. So now it actually starts thinking that did not appear when I transcribed it. And it seems like it is taking a lot of time. So doing stuff, thinking, performed an action, still waiting. So this is extremely uh, slow. Understood, your run is scheduled for tomorrow at 9 a.m. I will be sure to remind you when it's time. Does it appear here? Tomorrow, 10 that isn't complete. I said 9 a.m. It says 10 here. Let's try. Um, take out trash tomorrow at 9 a.m. So let's try that again. Because I said it says 9 a.m. here, but it shows me 10. Let's go back here. So take out trash I have in here. But it should be one in plant as well. Added, I've created a task for you to take out the trash tomorrow, 9 a.m. I will remind you when it is time. Uh, so it should appear in my plant. It does not. Does it help if I like reload the page? Uh, plant still doesn't appear here. But the go for a run one appears because I have two. So I have one in my test projects, which I showed you earlier. And take out trash actually appeared here but there is no easy way to like set a date to it i would expect that a to-do list application costing or a task management application let's call it that a task management application costing me 20 usd each month as an easy way to do due dates 
uh, but that might just be my expectations. But I would honestly expect that uh, it could do um, it could do uh, like due dates easily. It might be able to. It might just be me not finding it right now. There is also one other thing. When I complete a task, take now it actually removes it and puts it in here. So it might just be either the application is slow or my internet connection is really slow. Uh, so it might be one of one of two. Um, and the second time I used the chat, it was much faster. So let's try one more task because this should be the selling point of the application. So uh, let's say I wanted to uh, have a meeting. Let's try meeting tomorrow at eight eight thirty. AM. Let's do that uh, and see what it does. So now it feels a little slow again, but it isn't that slow actually. Um, uh, it is much faster than the first time I did it. I also had a problem with like the transcribing not giving me an answer from the AI, but now it is set uh, has been scheduled for tomorrow at eight thirty. So it will send me a reminder, but I would really like to see it here. It's at 8.30, it shows me 9.30, so there is something wrong with the... There is a bug here, um, because also this uh, take out trash ended up in my inbox, not being planned at all, even though I said uh, at 9 a.m. Uh, it ends up not being planned, um, but the go for a run one, which I said at 9am, appears at 10, 8.30am appears at 930 so I think there is something with time zones maybe, or it is just a bug. Uh, I would, I would expect the application to, um, get my time zone right when I sign up, but my guess is that there is an easy way to fix time zones. Uh, so I can open up the, uh, the... The time zone is actually right. If I now open my screen back up, uh, I just went ahead and checked. It says Europe Oslo, which is my time zone. Uh, and the time is also right. It is 11.20 a.m. right now. Uh, so there is a bug. Uh, that's my guess. I can connect Slack and I can connect uh, Telegram. But the application feels like a good idea. I think a lot of like productivity applications will end up uh, working with a chat interface. Uh, more like a personal assistant we can talk to. Uh, this was the whole idea with uh, when we got Siri on the iPhone. It never worked out. It still doesn't work. Uh, but that was the whole idea. Being able to talk to a quote-unquote personal assistant and get your tasks uh, set. I still think that it needs a lot of work. It feels a little slow from time to time. There are minor issues. It feels half-baked like a lot of these AI applications I test out. Um, but I think the idea is really good. I still think that it needs a lot of work. Uh, but uh, I will keep my eye on this application and I will also do a more in-depth video uh, probably later uh, this year. I will give it some time to develop a little bit more but I think the idea of an application like this is really really good. But that covers it for today's video. If you enjoy uh, productivity apps, tools and tricks please do subscribe, uh, like the video if you enjoyed it and as usual I hope to see you again quite soon.